Hello, everyone. Welcome to our webinar today. One of my favorite ones. We're going to be going over all of the social media updates from March that you need to know. And of course, there's just so many. There's so many every month. I always think, is there going to be a month where there's not even that many? But I don't think that will ever happen. So there will always be something to talk about. Yeah, at least this one is less chaotic. Yeah, <laughs> like last true. month was, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, crazy. that one I got kicked out of the the room, I think, right? <laughs> oh, true. Yeah. Oh, true, that too. Okay, yeah, that actually was way more chaotic than I think. <laughs> than I remember. <laughs> I promise this one won't be as chaotic, fingers crossed. But thank you everyone for coming today and thank you for sharing where you're joining from. I love to see where everyone is coming from today. Love to see it. I'm jealous of everyone that is somewhere warm mm -hmm. um, because it is rainy and cold where I am. So very jealous. It's snowing where I <laughs> yes. am, like heaps of snow. It's crazy. It's like middle of the winter kind of snow. I thought the groundhog said it was going to be an early spring right <laughs> what but happened? it wasn't <laughs> the lies <laughs> can't trust the groundhog <laughs> awesome well we will get right into it because we have a lot to cover today as usual so if this is your first webinar with us hello welcome my name is Alyssa, and i'm a community manager here at heyorka so I work on our webinars, our newsletter, our Facebook group, all that good stuff. And if you aren't in our Facebook group, there's a link to it pinned at the top of the chat. So you should definitely join us. We just hit 7,000 members, so we're very excited. So if you're not a part of that yet, definitely join. But I will pass it over to Katia. Hi, this is so fancy. We're like pinning stuff now at the top of our comment section. But um, hi, everyone. I'm Ketsia. I'm the social media community manager here at Hey Orca. I do everything related to socials. Um, and obviously, I build the communities on our socials as well as creator um, influencer stuff, which has been really, really cool. And I would love to know, and I asked this in one of our previous webinars, but if this is your first webinar, let us know. Or how many webinars have you attended from Hey Orca? Um, I would love to I would love to know how many of you guys, like how many webinars have you attended? Um, I don't know how many webinars you have hosted, Alyssa, but <laughs> I feel like many. Honestly, so I feel like we have one. So we do it every Thursday, but of course there are some weeks where we wouldn't have a webinar um, because of holidays and stuff like that. So I, I don't even know, but a lot. <laughs> Jennifer, oh, wow. very, very many. Yes, love that. <laughs> I've been attending oh, these for six years. Shout out Josh. That's amazing. Wow. That's a true one, honestly. And also welcome to the, uh, your first, oh, I can't even talk. <laughs> welcome to the first timers. <laughs> welcome. Um, welcome here. I hope you come back. Yes. We're here every Thursday. So come <laughs> hang out with us. Awesome. And for everyone who is new to our webinars, we love to do giveaways. So today we will give, be giving away points to our merch store so you can redeem it for some Hey Orca merch or we do have some snacks in there as well. So the first way to win some merch points is head over to our Instagram story. We have this poll on our stories right now. So go participate in that poll and we will be randomly selecting somebody at the very end for some merch points. And then the second way to win, this one is for our Hey Orca customers in the chat. I want to know how long you've been a Hey Orca customer. So let me know in the chat. Maybe you just joined Hey Orca. Maybe you've been with Hey Orca for years and years. I'm so curious. So let us know in the chat how long you have been with Hey Orca, and we will be randomly selecting somebody to win merch points. So two different ways to win and stick around to the very end of the webinar and we will be doing the draw then. We'd love to see it two years, one year, a year and a half, six months, six years, love it. Even two months. I feel like they're just, they're new, which thank you. <laughs> We're so happy to have you. 
Love it. Well, keep sharing in the chat and we will gather all your names for the giveaway for the very end. And before we hop into all of the social media updates and trending audio, um, I do want to remind everyone of a very cool feature that we recently released. Well, not recently, about a month ago, but it feels recent to me. Um, we released AI alt text, which is a huge lifesaver. So I want to show you how you can do this. So when you're in your media library, you can upload your image and then hit those three little dots and select add alt text. And now it's going to generate some here. It always takes longer when I share my screen. <laughs> Okay, so now you have a couple suggestions. If you don't like those, you can always refresh and get new ones, but you can add it to the alt text and then of course make some changes. So I find this so helpful because sometimes it can be really difficult to write alt text. So um, I love this hack that we have now. And it's great because it will give you the alt text, but then you of course can add some personalization to it. Um, maybe put names in there, all that sort of stuff. But again, a really great time saver. I just wanted to make sure that everyone knew it was there. So I will stop sharing now. I just wanted to address something. Okay, this is so dramatic. It's really not that big of a deal. But uh, Dor I think it's Doria. Uh, said that she wasn't a customer and is not eligible to ask to answer the question, but she would love to be a Hey Orca customer if there wasn't a limit of 10 profiles per calendar. And I'm pretty sure we, it's unlimited, no? Like, isn't there an unlimited version of our calendar? Um, so I think um, you can have up to 10 profiles and then you can add on more profiles. Um, so there's 10 included and then you can add more i think it's ten dollars um per profile added but it's unlimited users so you could have mm -hmm. as many people on your account as you want which is awesome exactly awesome and then maria said do you know if all text help the algorithm on insta so i have read that if you put some keywords in your alt text that may help your reach yeah but i haven't but they tested it myself but the API that we have right now does not support Instagram alt text, unfortunately. True. It's something we're working on, though. But yeah. Um, yeah. So, awesome. yeah, that's that. <laughs> awesome. Well, we'll get right into it now. So we will be going over social media updates and trending audio today. And it's, of course, a packed one. So we're going to be going over trending audio and then updates from Instagram, Meta, X, TikTok, LinkedIn, Facebook, threads, and industry news. <laughs> so a packed session. And there's even some trivia questions sprinkled throughout. So I hope you're all ready for some trivia. But I am now going to pass it over to Ketsia, who's going to show us a few fun trending audios from the past month. Yes, and I do want to preface by saying that we did change the format of our trending audio. You guys have been emailing us and being like, where is the previous format? Um, the reason we kind of changed it is because we've noticed, and I don't know if you guys have noticed, so please let us know in the chat, that we are recycling the same trends and the audios are lasting a lot longer ever since uh, all the music got removed from TikTok. So you're just recycling trends. So we just put the top ones that we keep seeing that you can reuse that are basically more evergreen because we just couldn't find new trends every single week that just came up. Sometimes the trends would just last longer. So we're sorry if you loved the previous format, but that's the only reason why we changed it. We wished the, the trends would be uh, like before, but now they're lasting a lot longer. So just wanted to put that out there. Um, but yeah, so in terms of trending audios, we do have a blog, um, a blog again, that you can read. Um, I'm pretty sure someone's going to put it in the chat, but I update this every single Friday um, with, you know, trends and we keep it up to date as well. So I wanted to show you guys some of the uh, video trends that we had. So I'm going to start with uh, TikTok <laughs> because I think that's really funny. So this one is 
it is not a crime. And I feel like if you're on TikTok, you just know <laughs> what I'm going to show you. Okay. You got me there. But that is not a crime. There you go. <laughs> that one. I feel like that one's also so easy to relate to literally anything, which is great. Exactly. Exactly. It is not a crime. It is not a crime for me to like the pictures that I posted myself on my client accounts. <laughs> um, and then we also have the shark tank trend. And I feel like it's also moving over to Instagram. So you can definitely still use it. Um, here you go. So I think this I one was it. really right. Thank you. Well, honestly, I feel like this one was is good because it's a brand who applied mm -hmm. the trend, but you can also use it, um, you know, yourself, which is really cool. Yeah, I feel um, like this one's a really good one for brands to use because you can just relate it right back to one of your products or something like that. So I feel like this one's a really good one. Um, and then I think Maria was saying that, you know, they wish there was an in-app feature for them to have the trends. We wish to. <laughs> that would be so so much easier. But for now, we do have the publishing notes that you can add the link of the trend in there and it would automatically open into that specific sound. So you just have to upload uh, the video. And then I think copyright. Uh, are CapCut sounds safe? Those ones aren't CapCut sounds. But there's a copyright-free section in CapCut um, in terms of, especially if you're going to use commercial, like it commercially, then obviously I would recommend doing that. Yeah, um, and then we have the coffee, sh I can't even talk. <laughs> we have the coffee shop one. And this is for Instagram Reels. There you go. So peaceful. Right? <laughs> it just calmed me down. And also, does anyone know how to do latte art? I want to know. It's just super random, but I would love to know if anyone knows how to do that. I always try every day, but fail. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Abby, the link to the examples is in the presentation that we will share at the end of this webinar. So you will have all the links to all of the things that we're showing. And then we have the superpower uh, one, which I loved. There you go. Love that. A social media manager should take that and like film them sped up, like creating content on their laptop. Yes. <laughs> like one month, we, uh, one month worth of content in like two yes. minutes. <laughs> yes. So there we go. That was. Those were the trending sounds. And again, we will share all of these in the presentation um, at the end of this webinar. So you will have access to all of this. Uh, awesome. well, Maddie says she can make a towel animal. And that's very cool. That's really cool. Okay, sorry. I'm sharing the wrong presentation. <laughs> there oh, we that's go. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Thank you for going over those. And yes, if you want to see more, everything is going to be linked in this presentation and in our blog. So you can definitely check it out there. Um, but yeah, we'll dive right into some Instagram updates. So Instagram is adding a few new things to DMs. And I feel like this has been kind of a trend this year. I feel like with social media, we're having so many more private conversations. Like you're sending things to your friends in DMs, you have group chats more than like publicly. I don't know if anyone else has noticed that. So I think Instagram picked up on that. So they're adding a few new features into DMs. So um, you're now going to be able to edit a DM within the first 15 minutes of sending. Um, you can also pin uh, your chats and reply to messages with voice notes. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I feel like more and more is gonna come with DMs for sure. Pin chats, game changer, agreed. Especially if you're trying to like plan something, you can just pin yeah. most important information. 
<laughs> and just from the people you like, like your friends and family, yes. um, I have it on iMessage. I have all like my regulars. <laughs> <They're friends. laughs> I know I have that too. Love it. All right, trivia break. So what year did Instagram release carousel posts? I want to hear everyone's thoughts in the chat. I was kind of surprised by the answer. Same. So <laughs> Ketia knows the answer, so she's not allowed, not allowed, allowed to say. <laughs> 2016, 2015, 2018, 2012. All right. I think some of you were close. It was 2015. For some reason, I thought it was like... 2018. 2020. Yeah. yeah, I don't know, but I think it started with a carousel post of three photos and then it kind of grew and grew, but yeah, 2015. So congratulations to everyone that got that right. Um, but speaking of carousel posts, so Instagram is testing the ability to now add 15 photos or videos into a carousel post. So currently it's 10. Um, so would you say 15 is now too much? I don't know. I feel like carousel posts always do really well. And I really like carousel posts because sometimes you just can't decide on one thing to post. And especially for mm -hmm. brands, you can tell a story with a carousel. So 15 will just provide more slides to tell a story, but I've seen split opinions on yes, it's way too much or no, it's totally fine. So it's exactly. kind of everywhere. And I'm wondering if it's 15, like, will it show up like three times now in your feed? Because you have like the first slide mm. posts once. And, and then when people scroll past, they show the second slide. And if it's 15, maybe they will put it again, like True. the third slide. So I don't know. So maybe it could even increase the reach. Cause yeah. more, it will just show to more people. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So this is just in the testing phase right now, but you may actually have it on your account. It's like one of those things where they just pick a random chunk of users and give it to them. So you may have access to this. Um, and another new DM feature, this one's still in testing, but they are testing the ability to send files through DMs, which is kind of cool. So just more and more stuff happening in the DMs. And Instagram Reels are gonna get longer, which is no surprise, because we have TikTok doing like 10 minute long videos. So Instagram Reels is now going to do three minute long videos, which not surprise, I knew it would probably jump up at some point. Um, but I've noticed that with Reels, at least the ones on my feed, I find they're like very short like i think they're like 15 seconds or less usually like they're very short so we'll see if people actually make three minute long videos um yeah we'll see how they perform but not surprised about this update yeah i've been seeing a lot more creators do sit down and vlogs on the reels now and before it was only like very aesthetic edits here and there and now like people are actually enjoying like the videos that go the most viral right now that i'm seeing are people just sitting down talking to the camera and that's it and people love it so yes i, I don't know it, it might that's change the, it's a new thing right now mm -hmm. storytelling vlogs i love watching those kind of videos so i'm all for it <laughs> same and for anyone who does any Instagram ads, um, you're now able to put promo codes directly within your Instagram ads. So that's kind of cool. And then I think there's just one meta update. Um, let me know if anyone here is a meta verified subscriber. If you are, do you like it? That's, that's what I want to know. Um, but I think meta is realizing not as many people are subscribing to Meta Verified as they thought. So users have been getting this survey here that you see on the screen to see what new features they'd be most interested in. Um, and I think probably the most popular ones they'll actually add to Meta Verified. But some of these features that they may be adding include links within Reels, 
better access to customer support and faster ad reviews. So we'll see. I feel like it's just not taking off the way they want it to. I think it's kind of expensive for what it is. And the fact you have to pay per platform is also kind of silly. They should just combine it. And it's like, like you also have to pay for desktop and mobile. That's so wild. Like we're literally starving out here and people are like, let's pay like $25 per platform to have a blue check mark. Like that's absolutely insane. I have other things I would like to spend my money on and not a blue check mark. Exactly. Agreed. Agreed. So we'll see if these things are added. Um, I'll keep you updated. Maybe there will be an update for next month. Right. All so, right. Yeah. So I'm going to pass it over to Ketia, who's going to take us through some X and TikTok updates. Oh, gosh. I am on X every single day. It's embarrassing. I should probably limit my usage, but it's so funny over there. <laughs> so I have to. Um, but before we get into the updates, I would like to ask you guys a question. So how many daily active users are there uh, on X in 2020? I was kind of surprised when I saw the answer to this. <laughs> yeah. One, One, just me. It's, it's just me talking to myself on there. <laughs> Imagine. I've been like Elon is just creating X for me or making it worse <laughs> because of me. <laughs> uh, I. I'm trying to read that number, but I can't because I can't see the commas in there. (laughs) Um, But I think it's like a million something. 400 million. 3 million. Less than 2023 for sure. Well, actually, it's 250 million and it's the same as 2023. So it hasn't changed. It's still the same people who are on there just, you know, chatting it up. (laughs) And then, um, so there's a new article feature for um, premium X users. So now when you go on like the premium X users accounts, um, they can create articles on the platform, which I think is super interesting. Um, Maybe a little bit dangerous, but (laughs) I don't know. I feel like X is such a platform that like spreads misinformation. And I feel like maybe people are going to start using X articles as proof or something. And it'd be like, yeah, like that's totally valid, even though there's no sources or whatsoever to support that claim. So I don't know. Um, Yeah. Jonathan was like, uh, why would anyone want to read an article on X? I have no idea because we're used to only reading like 250 characters (laughs) per tweet. (laughs) So I don't know. Um, But yeah, I don't know. And um, Elon Sorry, I just think this one is funny. Um, but Elon removed the like counts on X. So they will be hiding likes and retweet counts. And I don't know if it's because he's embarrassed about his likes and his <laughs> retweets. And that's why he's like, okay, now nobody is going to get them. But like, why? Why is the question? It's like always, like, it's like when he removed the links, like previews. It's like, why did you do that? Doesn't make any sense. I know it's like shouldn't shouldn't there be updates on other things before this kind of update but who knows I don't know know. um and then I have a couple of TikTok updates for you guys um so TikTok adds influencer audio to commercial sounds because clearly (laughs) they're all gone so they have to use influencer sounds and audio clips um in the business library which I think is really cool because it will be I think there's some really funny influencer audios. I'm wondering if they get paid for that, actually. So every time someone uses their sound, you know, they get paid a certain Mm. amount. Um, And then TikTok will also start paying creators based on their search value. So now it's called Creator Rewards, I think. And it's not Creator Program. I don't know. They keep changing the name of this thing. I feel like they've changed it like three times at this point. I don't know, but they will basically base, um, I guess, their rates, the creator rates based on the content that they're posting. And if it's like something that users are searching on the app itself, um, I also think that 
this screenshot is very funny, like all the searches <laughs> that are <laughs> on there, because I get it, but also I don't. <laughs> like, right? Um, except not in Canada. I don't think we have the creator rewards program in Canada, right? Um, no, which sucks. Which is sad. I don't know why. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it either. <laughs> And then, um, obviously, longer TikTok content is here to stay. So they announced in the creator program that, I mean, they announced that the creator program is now the creator rewards program, <laughs> I guess. And now creators will need to make longer videos um, in order to monetize through the program. So it has to be over one minute. And I think you guys might have noticed that people are just spilling all their family tea on TikTok now. Like... <laughs> They saw recent tea and they're like, I want a piece of the pie. But it's so think, true. Right. But I think it's kind of the whole like 2016 resurgence. Like, remember when there was like Tana Mojo and all those story time YouTubers on the platform and they got really big. And now we're having that again, but like on TikTok. So I feel like it's just we're doing 2016 again, you know? Exactly. It's very entertaining. So I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Tell me all your tea, you know? Um, and then TikTok is also testing a new photo-based app. So I don't really know how it's going to happen. I know that with their carousels and stuff, like they've really been pushing for photo content, but now they're creating a separate app for that. So who knows? Maybe it will compete with Instagram. I mean, Instagram is competing with X. They're all competing with each other. So um, yeah. I'm just watching and there's, yeah, I'm just watching the comments as well, seeing that they would rather watch TikTok vlogs than a YouTube vlog, which I've been obsessed with YouTube vlogs. <laughs> and then the faith of TikTok in the US. What's going to happen? I don't know. <laughs> we don't know what's going to happen. I also feel like I don't understand like um, US court stuff at all to be like, okay, this is what's going to happen. But if anyone here is from the U.S., are you scared that TikTok is might leave? Yes, I want to know everyone's thoughts. Because, yeah, I feel like there's something new every day on this. And I, I'm not sure exactly where it's at in this moment. But, yeah, I don't know. Like, will it actually get banned? Like, is that, would that actually happen? Like, that's so wild. Like, out of all the things, they were like, TikTok is ruining our people, so we need to, <laughs> we need to get rid of it. Um, but yeah, I think, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's crazy. I mean, we still have TikTok, you know, I'm just saying. But, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's a shame. It's, there's so much good content on there. And then TikTok is also testing a new iOS home screen widget. So you can directly start posting stories from the widget on TikTok. And I don't know if anyone uses TikTok stories like that um, or watches them, to be honest. That's yeah. such an interesting update because I feel like out of all of the TikTok features, I feel like TikTok stories are kind of like lower on the list. But maybe right. I'm wrong. I feel like I yeah. don't really see them that often. Yeah, I've seen a lot of creators that grew because of TikTok stories. Mm -hmm. But it. I don't know, maybe, I, I just don't watch stories in regular. I only watch my stories when I post them because I'm like, that was a good day. Same. But like, Same. I don't watch other people's stories at all, but other people do. So I don't know. It's true. Honestly, I think I saw a video or a meme or something about like the, the person who watches your stories the most is yourself because I totally mm -hmm. relate to that. I feel like if I post a story, I rewatch it way too many times. <laughs> <laughs> some, some let me know if anyone else it. does that <laughs> <laughs> oh my god all right we'll get into some linkedin updates oh trivia break what year did linkedin launch this is another shocking answer i guess that's a hint <laughs> right. another one that shocked me I love how the trivia break was like oh my god it just popped up out of nowhere <laughs> 2005, 2011. All right. Some of you are very, very close. It's 2003, yeah. which is 
crazy for some reason i thought maybe linkedin came in like 2008 or even like 2010 mm -hmm. i don't know why i thought that um maybe because i was i forget how old i was in 2003 too young to be on linkedin so maybe that's <laughs> why but um yeah that was shocking to me so it's I been around for a while <laughs> I was just thinking, damn, we had, oh, sorry, can I say that? I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> we, had, we had internet back then, like, that's crazy. Yeah. But also, it makes sense, but also, it also seems like we didn't. Like, I know, we just like, had, maybe, like, did we have dial-up internet still? Yeah, I remember going to internet cafes. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know what year that was, but it was, like, pretty much, I think, 2006 or something, like, I was yeah. old enough to have a conscious brain, basically. <laughs> but like, what? We had LinkedIn. Like, people didn't even have, have computers at their houses. Like, not everyone. It wasn't as accessible as it is now. And yeah. now everyone has a laptop, a computer at home. But like, like back then, we didn't. So, I know. oh, maybe I'm just making stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like you're right. I, I remember I had a just a desktop. And the phone had to be like un- plug to be on the internet like you couldn't be on the phone and the internet at the same time does what? anyone else have this memory <laughs> maybe that's just my where i grew up i don't know but anyways 2003 was a long time ago <laughs> i love the comments on here they're so funny i know i love it <laughs> dial up internet anybody yeah it, it was a thing <laughs> um but speaking of linkedin you may have seen this, and this I'd love to know your thoughts on this. LinkedIn may be adding games to the platform. So I don't really know why, but it sounds like a little bit fun. So essentially these games would be added and companies will be ranked on the scores of their employees from these games. So I can see it maybe being like a fun thing for a couple of weeks but then I can see it falling off, but it could be entertaining for a short period of time, maybe. So keep an eye out. You might be able to play games on LinkedIn soon. And LinkedIn expands thought leader ads. So now you can sponsor the content of any member and it can, that can be the ad. So you don't have to have like the typical ad. You can make someone's post an ad, which I think is kind of cool. Yeah. So I haven't really seen many of them, though, so far. I have been seeing, and I've been taking screenshots because I've been wanting to send them to Lyle, but I've been seeing a lot of ads that are done through normal profiles. For example, like, I don't know if anyone uses Factor Meals. If you want my discount code, and no, I'm just kidding, I don't have a discount code. <laughs> but if anyone uses Factor Meals, like, if you look at their... Um, Instagram story ads they're all just regular people who like take the blurriest photos actually about factor meals but that's their ad and when you click on the profile it's just like a regular person who doesn't have a following or whatever but they do ads through that and I feel like LinkedIn is like catching on yeah like UGC Danny is uh, correct but I think it's so interesting the way that we're moving because people don't want to buy from people they want to hear from uh, they don't want to buy from brands, sorry. They want to hear from other people. And yeah, it's so interesting. That's so true. And speaking of UGC, our webinar next week, I just put it in the chat. We're going to be talking all about how to start using UGC. <laughs> that was a Actually. good segue. So if you want to <laughs> learn more about it, check it out. Register. Sign up. <laughs> um, and one Facebook update. Um, I don't know if anyone has noticed this, but... Facebook pokes are back. Now they technically never went away. Facebook just kind of hid them deep into settings. And so no one would really use it, but they've now made it more accessible. So you can use this feature again. I have not really seen it on my Facebook. I feel like I don't use Facebook that often, so I haven't seen it, but let me know if anyone else has seen this or has been poked recently on Facebook. And then I think there's just one Threads update. Um, so Threads has released trending topics um, in the US. So you can see it in this screenshot here. So when you're scrolling through your feed, you'll see trending now and it will show different topics that people are talking about at the moment. Threads is another 
platform that I feel like is just constantly adding new features. It's like they're really trying to get people to stay intrigued with the app. <laughs> and I'll pass it to Ketsia to go over a few industry news. Yes, I'm excited. Okay, so just like in general for industry news, um, Substack now has direct messaging. I don't know if anyone is on Sub Substack. I am on Substack. If you guys have any really good newsletters, feel free to share them um, because they're really good. I think Alyssa shared a couple about cooking, which was really cool. Um, so if you guys have any like really cool Substack uh, newsletters, feel free to send them. Yeah, now you can direct message people on there one-on-one, uh, -on -one, which is really cool. Um, and Google search is testing a most read article carousel. So when you're looking something up, Google is currently testing by adding like the most read articles at the top, which I think is good, but I'm wondering if it will be harder to rank because of it. Because if they're only showing the most clicked article or like the most read articles, what about the new ones? Like are people going to be able to rank better? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, and then there's a new report that actually showcases that there's a decrease in TikTok engagement. And apparently Instagram Reels saw more engagement than TikTok videos. I don't know if you guys have noticed it. I feel like I just see way more engagement on Reels, like comments and stuff. Whereas on TikTok, people don't comment as much. Mm -hmm. On TikToks or like as much, you could get like a bunch of views and then like not a lot of likes or comments. I have totally noticed that. I feel like you could put the same video on Reels and TikTok and it will get way more views, likes, comments on Instagram. So, mm -hmm. and then like a random TikTok will just like blow up, but it will make no sense why. <laughs> exactly. I don't know. It's just, it's so interesting. Um, and then Pinterest is rolling out body type filters. So they've been testing it for a couple of months. But basically, when you look something up, like let's say like a dress or something, you will be able to pick the body type that matches that specific thing, which I think is so good. I loved when they did the skin tone thing. I loved when they did the hair type thing. And I love that they're doing the body one because I feel like it really speaks to their mission of being very diverse platform. And not everyone is a size zero. You know, I feel like, you, you know, I would like to see someone with my body type wearing different clothes and then I can create a little mood board or whatever. So I'm really excited about it. I don't know if you guys are excited about it or if you guys are huge pinners. I pin my entire life. <laughs> every month Pinterest I have a mood every board. Day. Right? I, Pinterest, I think, is the most positive yes. social platform. Because I feel like you, it's just fun to curate your boards and ideas. And I feel like it's more like more inspirational compared to mm -hmm. all of the other ones. Yeah. I was going to say it's the most fun because you don't have to talk to anybody. But I feel like that's so mean. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, if it's just like you and yourself and your little ideas and no one can judge what you like or what you don't like. And it's just you and your little world. I feel like it's so much fun. Um, but yes. Yes, I agree. You know, if you're like a plus size, you're a black woman, you're whatever, it's really great to be able to add those filters. Yes. Um, and then we have a couple of Hey Orca updates. So little platform updates, like, you know, we basically al are allowing our users to, you know, create and publish Facebook Reels, which is really cool. I think Facebook Reels is a very big one, but the videos on Reels are so long on Facebook. It's always like five minutes. And I'm like, I need to get to the end. Um, and you can also collab and publish Instagram collab posts. So you can collaborate with other people and you know create collab posts, which is really cool. Um, you can also start managing your Facebook DMs, which is also really cool. I say it's really cool. I need more vocabulary. I will look up more words for the next webinar. <laughs> um, and then, um, you know, we now have TikTok reports, which is something I've been dying for us to have. And now you can also, you know, post campaigns are merged with post tags. So if you want to see our upcoming releases, we have a product roadmap that you can take a look at and keep up to date. 
Awesome. Thank you. Yes. So many fun things were released in the past month or so, and some really good things are coming up in the future. So definitely keep an eye out for that. And Lyle just put a link to our roadmap in the chat. So definitely check that out if you're curious about what's coming up in Hey Orca. And I also put our blog in the chat. So if you want to access this presentation or any of the headlines we went over, it's all in this blog here. Shout out Lyle. She created this blog. Um, so definitely check it out. And then it's time to do our giveaways. So I have our winners here. Um, shout out Jesse and Lyle, who were picking our winners for us while mm -hmm. we were going through the presentation. So our Instagram poll winner is Harp Aurora. So Harp, you are the winner. Let us know if you're here. And then our Hey Orca customer winner is Ruby. So let us know if you are here. Let me just double check here. Oh, Ruby's there. here. Yay. And it Harp doesn't look. Too. Oh, okay. Perfect. It's H. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Awesome. So I'll be reaching out to both of you after this to make sure you can get your merch points and come hang out with us next week while we talk about UGC. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it will be awesome. so much fun. Cool. Well, we will see everybody next week. Thank you. Bye. Bye.